Hey guys, welcome back to Corpse Party. Oh boy, the in the last episode we got the bad ending. So now we're gonna try to get the good ending because that was just terrible. So I read up on it because I had no idea where to go. So apparently you have to go to room 3A. I have no idea where room 3A is. What? So... Where is 3A? Let's see if we can find it. This one is 5A. <sighs> that was... That was the, uh... I'm just speechless after that. I mean, how, how, why did she hang herself? This is the bathrooms. I don't want to go in there yet because that's what happened last time. But how do- where is 3A? Oh, here it is. But how do I get into there? This is 2A. I'll save here. Ugh, dead bugs. Help me. Help me. Misato. Uh, Yoshiyuki Shinohara. We didn't get that last time. I'm going to kill you. Oh boy. Um. Guess down here. Uh. So how do we get the? Oh. There's a ghost here. If you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise. No nirvana. Just eternal pain. Gah. Why did I have to die like that? Ugh. Uh. Unknown key. So, we'll feel the pain of death forever. Be best not to think about that. Maybe it's the key to 3A. Oh, thank god. Uh, huh? Naomi, what's wrong? I don't know, it's like my heart skipped a beat as soon as the key turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Oh, trust me, it'll be just fine. I mean, it's a locked door. You know what that means, right? Booty! 
Behind every locked door be lies the hidden treasure just waiting to be claimed. Can't, can't you hear it calling to you? Oh, psycho. A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor of fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. Um, there's the newspaper. Let's hate one another with all we have, fucking sheep. I want to read it, but I can't because I haven't saved. Is there a save up here? Uh, no. There isn't one in here. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. You guys ready? Alright. Heavenly Post. Breaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now, investigators have located the whereabouts of these children and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th, 1793 at around 7 p.m. Authorities further reveled that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses had its tongue severed and removed and removed unique muti mutilations far too grotesque to describe. The page is torn at this point and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. How awful. I think I heard about this though once before. Not me, but I guess it did happen long before we were born, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Uh oh. Uh, we know what happened last time that happened. Um. Now what? I will never leave this room. leave this room there's no way out oh what do we do 
This is your fault, you know. What? How? There's... Never mind. Thumbs up. Oh. That's relief. Hold up. Oh no. No, it's gone. What is? The paper doll scrap I got from Mayumi. Oh, the charm? Mine's still in my student ID holder. Crap. I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I keep telling you. You need to put things away before they get lost. Now I'm sad. You know what do we do? I guess we go back up to the Need some butt cream. I don't know what happens after this. Do I still need to get this? I already got it, got it. I already got it. Maybe I need to rest at the infirmary first? gonna pause it here guys and skip through this so that we can get back to the point where we were all right see you guys in a bit all right guys we're back uh let's defeat this oh actually let's save uh right here See how this goes. Why is the door locked? <laughs> if it's not locked, then why won't it open? Oh boy, here we go. Such a 
Oh god. Come on. We need to go. Come on. Let's go. Frick. Come on, let's go. Get to the door. This. Try it again. Face to face with the ghost. All right, let's go. Run. Yes. Run. Uh. Come on, let's go. Yes. After hastily splashing alcohol all along the edges of the door, Naomi lit a match in an attempt to burn through the seamlessly endless strains of hair. With a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul-smelling heat, the hair lit up, then hardened and fell away, freeing the door and allowing it to open. the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for Barfy, you poor girl. Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. You, me you need me to rub your back. I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Did you find Yuga? Uh-huh. Or, uh-huh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, would be better in that situation. Looks like we really are the only two people here. The only two living people, anyway. This place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Are you okay to be up and about? While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should consider that room off-limits from here on out, though. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my fan in the background. It's getting really hot. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we'd better keep moving, then. Can you stand? Yeah. But where are we supposed to go? Hmm, well... We've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. The only other people we've come across are all dead. Damn it. There I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. N Naomi. Come on. Let's, it's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Class two niners never say die, right? We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. And then, in the afternoon, what say you and I go get our bikes fixed? Sounds like a plan, right? If we make it back alive, sure. This is psycho. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. N Naomi, are you like super duper tired or something? This is so not like you. Come on, raise that chin. 
The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. What the hell's got you so chipper? Uh, huh? You just keep smiling and laughing. D do I? Tell me. How long is that going to last? If it turns out, we can never go home again. Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out. That's a crock and you know it. As it finally cracked under the pressure, this whole situation was just more than my soul to bear. I thought I'd be keeping Psycho's spirits up until the bare end. But just like that, I was berating her, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irrationally, and it couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing out of my mouth as if someone turned on a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure our, our families are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How oh, so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one who cherish that person's memory, it's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can. Whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to. So you do. What's wrong with me? Psycho's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that. Why am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normal people don't work that way. Sorry. How about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help get us out of here. Seems the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who? Who says things are like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad and you and everybody else. I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. It's all my fault. I have to apologize. Most of all, I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. Uh. I I'm gonna pause for a second. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna pause for a second. I'll 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 be right back. Oh shit. Eh, I'm I'm gonna pause for a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, psycho. I I'm 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 so. I. I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. And so, in this nexus of closed spaces, where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed. Two friends who should have been thankful just for this small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place were quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinacy towards Psycho 
would come to be the biggest regret of my life as the consequences of that heated exchange were far more dire than I could have ever imagined. Now oh, me! That jerk. I think I just heard somebody calling out. I was the first time, huh? The first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. From the moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I had been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like I'd something else with the, I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my mentally distraught state, I ran all through the building, frantically searching for Psycho. I just kept calling out her name over and over again. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. The noose around Psycho's neck is attached directly to the ceiling, and there's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help are just strangling her further. I gotta get the bucket. I know, I know it's gonna... Psycho, I'm right here. <laughs> the filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. With blank eyes, Psycho swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. Why? Why would you hang yourself? You were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. 
say something. Ah, <laughs> uh, psycho. I want to apologize to you for what I said. Up until just a few hours before, I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now here she is, right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. This can't happen. And that's it for this episode. Goodbye, everybody. Here's a dance you all can do. Let me introduce to you Frozen. Everybody pose. Here's a dance you all can do. Let me introduce to you Frozen. Everybody pose.